Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video all about the things that I did during spring to get my home ready for spring. I did film this in April, so you will see some Easter things in there, um, but I just wanted to show you everything that we did. We decorated and we set up our new greenhouse, started some seeds, planted some roses, some very special roses, and of course I couldn't help but make a treat. So if you are in for a calming video all about homemaking for spring, just keep watching. So I started out with decorating and I got this tablecloth and for some reason my ironing board and iron did not make the move so I wasn't able to iron the tablecloth but that's okay. And yes, my son is crying in this video. He really badly wanted to play with the camera that I was using so he was upset that I did not let him. I put some flowers on the table. I ended up using fake flowers because they would last all season and I just change them out whenever I get fresh ones and switch back and forth, but I thought these were really pretty. Then I took a look in my spring box to see what I got and Everly wanted to help me decorate so she was had so much fun finding all the things in this box and finding places to put them. Some of these decorations that you'll see, I actually made myself. I made a video a couple of years ago, actually quite a few years ago, I think I really was around two, and made lots of homemade spring decorations and I've just kept them. I believe I even made a video of making all of them, so I will put the link to that video in the description box. I really wanted to show you these little pails. They're just so cute. These are some decorations that we put in each kid's room. This cute egg picture with the buttons is actually something that Everly helped me make when she was around two in that video. And so she loves to put it in her room every year. So next we started on the greenhouse. We got this little greenhouse from Tractor Supply and it will work for this year, but we're definitely gonna have to upgrade next year because it's pretty small and it also did not hold up in the wind. There is lots of holes in it already, but it'll work for this year. 
We got a couple really cute bird feeders from my sister when we moved in last year and I just never got around to putting them up so I really wanted to put them up this spring so we can look at the birds outside of the window. So I'm filling up this one and then we have a smaller one that is a finch feeder. Sweet Everly was desperate to be the cameraman, so excuse the shaky camera, she, I think she did a good job, but she wanted to film me putting the bird feeders up. At this point, I was eight months pregnant while making this video and I was craving some banana bread, so I decided to make some. I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch and listen to some calming music, and if you guys want the recipe, I will have it in the description below. This banana bread turned out so dang good. This is probably one of my favorite things that I have ever baked from scratch. And um, yeah, I highly recommend this recipe. We also started seeds as a family. It was such a fun project to do. The kids absolutely loved it. They each had their own little thing to plant and take responsibility for. William was planting carrots and Everly planted broccoli. So here we are just all <laughs> starting our seeds and we ended up planting carrots, broccoli, three different kinds of tomatoes, eggplant and chamomile and zucchini. So my great grandma recently passed away and I bought some roses in memory of her because she had beautiful pink roses in front of her house 
and I wanted to do the same thing. So here I am in my church dress because I didn't want to change, digging holes to plant those roses that I got in memory of her. I am putting one rose bush on each side of my front door and here I'm explaining to my sister everything I want to do in this front area. I want to spruce it up. It was not very well maintained by the last owners and I have big plans for this area. So the roses are just a beautiful start. Everly was also really close to my grandma and so she really wanted to help plant these roses. So here she is bringing some compost over so that we can make, put them in the ground. And there we have it everybody. That is everything that we did to get our home ready for spring and April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. Bye!